good morning my dear student so in this class i am going to tell you about the stability of the two wheel uh, two wheeler vehicles okay so in the last class we studied about what you mean by gyroscope what is the main function of gyroscope what are the application of gyroscope and what are the importance of gyroscope in the nowadays uh, days okay so in this class i'm going to derive an uh, equation uh, what is stability of a two wheel vehicle okay so uh, this question is very very important for the point of examination so they may ask you direct eight mark question derive an stability of a two wheel vehicle or one more derivation is there that is why i'm going to tell you in the next ppt that is four wheel vehicle okay so let us assume two wheel that is a bike uh, two wheel uh, two wheel vehicle that is a equal as assume as a concept as a bike okay so here just you observe the diagram so the so in the front uh, wheel i mentioned and back so that is a uh, back one is called as a rear wheel uh, rear wheel uh, rear wheel okay at the middle of two wheel uh, there will be engine is connected okay uh, so here when uh, here in the uh, figure b shows that when you are going to turn either maybe left hand and right hand direction there will be a centrifugal force will be generated at the near of the engine okay that is the center middle of the center engine okay so i mentioned here when you are going to turn the vehicle that is called as an active gyroscope couple when you are going to leave again it will come original position that is called as a reactive gyroscope couple okay so centrifugal force here uh, i mentioned here mv square by r and that the position number that is the initial position axis position to uh, engine speed that is the engine that distance is assumed as a h height okay so here um, and the cg and then ox to the center of the gravity that is let us assume as that just to simplify you are going to get an h cos theta okay and theta is an inclusion angle between the uh, what the y axis to the shaft of the vehicle okay so i mentioned here i explain now um, here consider a two wheel vehicle taking right turn as shown just you are going to take the right turn uh, the vehicle is inclined to a vertical uh, vertical for the equilibrium condition okay so the angle of inclusion of the vehicle to the vertical is called as a angle of hill okay in time examination they may ask you what you mean by angle of hill okay the angle of hill is nothing but the it is an inclusion of the angle of the vehicle to the vertical axis of the uh, vertical axis is called as angle of hill okay Mm, so here uh, the, these are the some terms we are going to denote in the two wheel vehicle okay uh, capital i w is the thing but moment of inertia of the wheel so capital uh, i the suffix e is called as moment of inertia of engine okay so just to remember this w means wheel e means engine okay that you are going to remember wheel and engine okay again similarly same case in the angular velocity of wheel and w is nothing but angular velocity of engine okay g is the gear ratio that is the ratio of um, angular velocity of the engine to the angular velocity of the wheel so this formula are going to use in the while solving the problem okay remember this gear ratio is equal to w by e w by w okay so now um, the v is a linear velocity of the vehicle okay on a road normal linear velocity and the small r is the radius of the wheel and capital r is the radius of track or curvature i shown here radius of the curvature that is uh, the turning moment is the let us assume as a r okay so here i mentioned radius of curvature is equal to what we are the turning point for turning point to the uh, middle of the axis that is the engine will that uh, distance uh, let us assume as uh, the radius of curvature okay at turning position okay and uh, small m is the mass of the vehicle and that is a person that is a rider person what how what we are going to use mass that is a weight on the vehicle okay so h is the height of the cg of the vehicle with a rider above the ground level okay so here this is an height above the ground level so from this point to this point the length is assumed as a height okay uh, so angle theta is the angle of hill okay so uh, normally the uh, height of the cg of the vehicle is always greater than the radius okay so this is your keep it in mind otherwise you can note note down this note number one okay h is greater than r always okay now the two couple will be generated one is a gyroscope couple and one more is a sentry couple okay acting on the moving vehicle and the, it take the left or right turn a precision gyroscope couple will act on the vehicle okay uh, these are the properties of the gyroscope couple rigidity and the precision are the properties of the gyroscope gyroscope which will be generated which will be affect on the while turning the moment of the vehicle okay so let us assume the first case that is a case in the in this derivation affect due to the gyroscope couple okay here while turning the vehicle we are going to get we are going to uh, what uh, affect the two types of couple that is one is a gyroscope couple one more the centrifugal couple okay now these you are going to derive the equation or simplify the equation with respect to the uh, forces which will be generated in the vehicles okay so first case is effect due to the gyroscope couple okay i already told what you mean by gyroscope couple in the earlier case okay um, so here gyroscope couple due to the two wheel is um, uh, wheel cw is equal to 2 into i omega 
ओमेगा इंटू स्मॉल दैट इज एंगल स्पीड ऑफ ओमेगा ओमेगा पी ओके सो हियर गैर इसको कपल ड्यू टू द इंजन इज रोटेटिंग पार्ट्स इज गिवन बाय सो सी ई इज इक्वल टू आई ई इंटू डब्ल्यू ई इंटू ओमेगा पी ओके सो हियर जस्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हेयर गैरस्को कपल डू टू टू व्हील इज गिवन बाई हेयर देर आर टू व्हील्स आर देर सो हैंस यू आर गोइंग टू टेक द टू गैरस्को कपल इज आई ओमेगा ओमेगा स्पी ओके सो आई इज इक्वल टू मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्स ऑफ द व्हीकल ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू एंगुलर स्पीड ऑफ द व्हीकल एंड डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू प्रिसीजन ऑफ द एंगुलर स्पीड ओके सो नाउ सिमिलरली गैरस्को कपल ड्यू टू द इंजिन ऑफ द रोटेटिंग पॉर्ट दिस इज अबाउट द व्हील नेक्स्ट वन इज अ इंजिन पार्ट ओके सेंट्रिफिकल ऑफ इंजिन पॉट इज इक्वल टू सेम आई ओमेगा ओमेगा पी इज द नॉर्मल डेफिनेशन इज देर सो जस्ट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू अज्यूम एस वॉट हियर द रोटेटिंग पॉट ऑफ द इंजिन सो जस्ट पुट आई इज इक्वल टू ई डब्ल्यू इजल टू ई डब्ल्यू इजल टू पी ओके बट द वी नो दैट द गियर इज इक्वल टू वॉट वॉट दिस एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ दैट इज एंगुलर ऑफ द इंजिन स्पीड हियर आई शो नो एंगुलर वेलोसिटी द व्हील एंड एंगुलर वेलोसिटी द इंजन हियर द गियर रेशो इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई ए डब्ल्यू बाई डब्ल्यू ओके एंगुलर वेलोसिटी द व्हील एंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिप द व्हील ओके सो एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द व्हील डिवाइड बाई एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द दट इज एंगुलर वेलोसिटी द इंजन डिवाइड बाई एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द व्हील ओके सो वी वॉन्ट एंगुलर वेलोसिट द इंजन इज इक्वल टू जी इन टू डब्ल्यू इन टू डब्ल्यू ओके सो जस्ट टू सपोर्ट दिस वैल्यू इन द अबो इक्वेशन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट वॉट वॉट सेंट्रिफिकल कपल दट इज सेंट्रिफिकल कपल ऑफ द इंजन is equal to i e g uh, into w angular velocity the wheel into angular velocity of precision okay so therefore the total gyroscope couple is what the combination of both okay the total gyroscope couple is equal to what gyroscope couple of the wheel plus gyroscope couple of the engine just to subtract uh, just to add both the values of what you got what you generated just you are going to get what this new equation that is 2 i w w into w uh, w into suffix w w p plus or minus i e g omega w by w omega p p okay so i already told the not notations okay i w is nothing but what moment of inertia of the wheel w is nothing but angular velocity of the wheel w p is nothing but angular velocity of the precision similarly i e is nothing but angular moment of inertia of the engine g is the gear ratio w is the angular velocity of the wheel angular velocity of the precision okay so again we are going to just you here you take the common okay so here common is what angular velocity of the wheel and angular velocity with the prison okay so just to take inside is 2 into i omega plus or minus i into j so but we we know that when the vehicle is turn the spin axis is inclined by an angle theta okay when you are going to turn the vehicle there will be an angle that is inclination will be generated that angle is called as a theta since the precision remains to be a vertical axis so we must consider the horizontal component of a spin vector okay so the above equation can be written as Uh, that is the spin uh, um, the, this above question can be written as in terms of the spin vector um, ct is equal to w uh, angular velocity of the wheel angular velocity of the p 2 into angular moment of inertia of the wheel plus or minus g into i into e into cos theta okay so here uh, in terms of velocity ratio that is the spin vector velocity horizontal component we are going to what uh, the angular uh, angular velocity of the wheel is equal to small v by uh, small r into capital v into r write down the remaining as it is so ct is equal to what and that is a uh, gyroscopic couple is equal to r v square divided by v into r to uh, i omega plus or minus j into i okay cos theta so here we are going to use in, this is the formula for uh, what in the effect of centrifugal that is the effect of gyroscopic couple okay so similarly so plus sign is used when the engine and wheel are rotated in the same direction and the negative sign used when the engine and wheel rotates in the opposite direction this will be used helpful in while solving the problem okay so now the that is the second b case so effect of centrifugal force so this is an equation of the centrifugal this is an equation uh, which will be affecting on the gyroscopic couple but in the second case b is equal to effect due to the centrifugal couple okay so we know that the centrifugal force is equal to mv square by r because is the radius of curvature going to get the formula for this okay now but cc is equal to what that is cc is equal to we know that centrifugal couple is equal to f into h into cos theta so cc is equal to fc is equal to we know that suggest so to substitute that value mv square divided by r h cos theta okay so for the both the centrifugal couple and gyroscopic couple will have to, uh, the tendency to um, tendency of overturning the vehicle therefore the overturning the couple is equal to overturning couple is equal to what uh, c into t g c g into cc okay 
so just you are going to add the both the values here we are going to get the work turning couple is equal to ct is equal to v square divided by v into r2 moment of inertia of wheel plus or minus g into moment of inertia of engine okay into cos theta plus mv square by r h cos theta so just to rearrange this word and this term v square by r is equal to the remaining thing is same 2i omega plus or minus g ie divided by r plus mh okay into cos theta so again you are going to get the balancing couple from the gravitational force that is mgh sin theta therefore the balancing couple is equal to what uh, just to rearrange the signs okay uh, balancing couple is equal to mgh sin theta therefore the total condition of the stability is mgh sin theta is equal to just to put this value in the above equation mgh sin theta is equal to what v square divided by r 2 omega that is moment of inertia for the wheel plus or minus g into i in engine divided by r plus mh into cos theta okay therefore uh, here the just to sin by cos just cos you send it to right hand side you are going to what sin by cos is equal to tan theta okay uh, tan theta is equal to this mgh you go to this side if v square divided by r 2 omega that is moment of inertia of omega plus or minus g i into m into h okay plus m into h divided by r so whole divided by mgh so this is the equation uh, for the angle of heel theta to avoid the skidding okay so by using this formula you are going to avoid the skidding of the vehicle when the road that is when the vehicle is moving in a rough road okay so this is about the formula this is about the derivation of uh this what uh, uh, stability of a two wheel vehicle okay so just to remember that when the stability when the vehicle is turning there will be two couple will be acting on that that is the effect due to the gaseous couple and effect due to the uh, what centrifugal couple okay so with the help of both the cases you are going to gen we are going to simplify the equations and combined we are going to get the final equation of the stability of the two wheel vehicle that is that equation is called as uh, what here that equation is called as the uh, this angle of hill to avoid this skidding of the vehicles okay so just to remember this formula for the stability of the two wheel vehicle okay tan theta is equal to v square by r 2 uh, i omega plus or minus g i e uh, whole to the bracket uh, plus m into h divided by r whole divided by m g h okay this is the formula we required while solving the problem okay so um, i hope you understand this derivation okay so thank you very much